Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Angel at Red Corn Outdoors. And it's a chilly day today. Nice 31 degrees, partly cloudy here in southern Indiana. And I got my brother to bring out his dar. He's behind the camera right now. Say hi, Jason. Yep. Okay, I don't know if you can hear him. Hey, we're shooting his dar. We got got us well, he already had it sighted in, but we sighted it. We shot it here at 25 yards, ran it over the crony, and we got some numbers for it. Um uh, this again, this is the dynamic air rifle. This is the Dar Gen 3. This particular one is chambered in 22. I tell you, it's a nice, nice rifle. Uh, he was going to be purchasing initially the JTS, but at the time, nobody had it, didn't know when it was coming out. So he went ahead and got this one. And it was like, what, a month later, the, the JTS finally hit the market. And then that's when I picked up one. But we noticed right off the bat, they are very similar. In appearance and the way that they're built I mean they're not identical but they're very close so we'll do a review on that later on right you know later on we'll do a, vi a video on that but for right now uh, again we did do some shooting today we did a 10 shot group first using the JSB 1589s and then we did a 10 shot group using the Barracuda Hunter Extremes this is what we brought over today to test and they both did really well uh, Average on the JSBs, we averaged 874 feet per second with 27 foot-pounds of energy. Again, this is stock out of the box. No adjustments have been done to it. The only thing he's put on was these uh, Bushnell, uh, what was it, 3 by 9 Yeah, Bushnell 3 by 9 It's the rimfire line uh, rifle scope. He put that on. Other than that, it's a stock rifle. And then we followed that up with the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. And these are 19.09 uh, grain pellets. They averaged 825 feet per second with 28 foot-pounds of energy. A little bit slower, but with that extra weight, a little bit more power behind them. So, nice thing. Mags. These are metal mags, which is pretty nice. Or I'll say metal, aluminum. But, uh, yeah, these are real nice, kind of like the JTS. They use a metal-style mag. Again, this is different than the JTS, but, again, kind of similar. So we'll start off loading this bad boy. Very smooth action on this rifle. Uh, we'll get some close-ups on it. And I'll throw some pictures on, on, on there as well that you guys can look at. All righty, let's see what we can do, guys. How oh. shall I get the safety off? All right, we're good now. This is actually my first shot sh shooting this rifle. Very smooth action. I believe that was three. No cameo from the coma today. She just came out for a few minutes, but only got the one camera running. Usually she likes to get in the in the picture. Bro, I don't think I, I'm doing as good as you did. I don't know because my hands are cold. Again, it's 31 degrees out here today. It's chilly. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Looks like we got three more shots, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's not real good. All right, that was 10 shots. Let me verify. Magazine is clear. All right, we decocked it. We put the safety on there. Lay that bad boy down right there. You don't want to drop it. Again, a uh, real quick close up. I mean, they use an aluminum mag, which is really nice on here. And it's real, real easy to load, just like the one on the JTS. Very easy to load. And we'll load some steels on that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys down range. I didn't do as good as my brother did. He did a heck of a lot better. We'll show his groups. We didn't have them on camera, but I'll go ahead and get it. You know, we'll see them when we get down there. So hang on. Let me get around the table. There we are. So this first group right here is what he did. And that was his second group. Now, that was my group. And I was using the Barracuda Hunters 1909 grains. This was his first group with the JSB 15.89s. Those did really well. And he, his 10-shot group with the Barracuda Hunters, they did good. The JSBs do a lot better. But since he already had the magazine loaded, I went ahead and did it with that. And, I mean, for my first time shooting it, I think I did really good. My fingers, I can barely feel them. It's cold this morning. I say this afternoon. But yeah, not bad. Again, I don't know, how, what's the farthest you've shot it so far? Probably 40 yards. 40 yards, okay. So we'll get some more up. This is the first time I actually get my get behind it and do some shooting. But we'll get some definitely some more updates on this one. We'll do a comparison to the JTS. But overall, not bad, guys. I already shot about 50 rounds off. That's it. Now, so it's still in its break-in period. Let's go back to the bench. All right, we're good, man. We're good. Gotcha. All right, so I got my brother behind the uh, rifle here. See how he does, since he did a heck of a lot better. He's going to shoot the 15 8 nines. One thing, I don't know if I did mention this. We are shooting this thing stock. We're shooting it unsuppressed on top of that. And see if you can listen to the report. Oh, I got your safety on, I believe. <laughs> this thing is what I call backyard friendly. It is very quiet. Nice. So the first few hits that you heard had a thud to them. Well, I got two sheets of uh, three-quarter inch particle board for a backstop inside the metal pellet catch. And after about four shots, it pretty much uh, blows a hole straight through it. And now you're hitting that loud ting. That is the uh, metal pellet trap that's catching the, pe the pellets. Another thing that we do as well, besides the metal pallet trap, there is a two sheets of three quarter inch plywood plus the fence that is behind it. But we, we try to keep all our shots in the pallet trap. And when we hit the spinners, we got them placed in front of the uh, three quarter inch uh, plywood. Nine, all right, man. Nine, you know, when you go too smooth, yeah. empty. On that last one? Yeah. Yeah. Before you kind of feel it, a little drag. Well, let's take a walk down there and see. Pull this out. All right, guys. You just got done doing that 10-shot group out of the DAR using the 15.89s. And wow. That's some shooting, bro. You're a better shooter than I am. That's for damn sure. That's less than a dime-sized group. Again, 15.89 JSBs. Nice. That's the one I did with the uh, H&M Barracudas. He did that one with the H&M Barracuda, and he did that one with the JSBs. Man, this is out of the DAR, or Dynamic Air Rifle, 
It was the Dar Gen 3 chambered in 22. Go that's pretty damn good. Uh, that's going to conclude our video for today. Guys, thanks for watching. It is getting cold. I can barely feel my fingers. Uh, definitely going to bring some more content. We'll do a maybe a comparison between that and the JTS. Bring a video out for that. But again, thanks for watching. Here's my brother Jason. Oh. Obviously a better shooter than I am on that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.